A chemical peel involves application of a solution to the skin surface. And what this solution can do is improve fine lines, acne scars, and wrinkles, as well as skin discoloration that may occur sometimes around pregnancy. A chemical peel is not good for someone who has a lot of loose skin or really deep wrinkles and scars that may be better treated with a surgery. There are different types of chemical peels. We have light, medium, and deep chemical peels. And essentially, we apply different types of solutions that penetrate the skin to deeper levels and result in different types of skin changes. A light peel will help freshen the skin and is good for fine lines and wrinkles and discoloration of the skin. A medium peel is better for um, deeper wrinkles and more aging changes. And the deepest peel, something like a phenol peel, for example, is very good for particularly deep wrinkles, skin changes, discoloration, and deeper scars. The way the procedure is performed is we apply a solution to the skin. It stays on the skin for a couple of minutes. The uh, stronger the solution that's applied, the more patients may feel it. There may be some stinging associated. And then we wash the solution away and let the peel do its work after that. It's outpatient and people go home. The depth of the peel will uh, determine how long it takes to not only recover from the peel, but also how long the results will last. Lighter peels are done more frequently. The results are to freshen skin that's not terribly damaged, but people want to look fresher. The results don't last as long. The deeper peels result in much deeper changes, intrinsic changes to the skin, and will last a good long time for years. Chemical peels inherently are a great procedure, but they do have their inherent risks. Um, people can end up with scarring or other long-term problems if they don't get it done by a board-certified plastic surgeon. You can find through the American Society of Plastic Surgeons. On our website, we show before and after photos. We have interesting information about the procedures. You can learn and then come in with questions that are tailored to your particular interest. So visit us at plasticsurgery.org.